All right, hello, this is a makeup tutorial of my previous tutorial, which audio and video was terrible on. Um, <clears throat> this is gonna be an intermediate tutorial on MySQL functions, so that we can create functions that we can use in any of our syntax, whether it's a different programming, or whether it's in a programming language that we use somewhere else or directly inside of SQL. So, MySQL, sorry. So we'll start by, cre I'll create a, a new function uh, it's going to be a stored routine. And we're going to bring it down to function, returns a result. Um, and we're going to return an integer because it, it's going to tell us the word count, how many words uh, are in. We're going to pass it a body of text and it's going to return how many occurrences a certain word uh, ha happens to come up. So we'll call it word count. <clears throat> Let's see, return the amount of times a word occurs. So, um, let's take in uh, two parameters. The first one is going to be called pool, which is going to be text. Because it, yeah, it could, and you can even make it larger than text, but we're going to use text uh, for this example. So, and we're also going to take in a word. So we want to take in word. I keep saying world. So we're going to take in a word, and that's going to be a varchar. Um, varchar of, uh, words are only up to like 35 in length. So we'll put 35 in there. Um, now we'll come back and we can create the body of this function and it's really just going to be one line. We're going to return um, the length of pool, the variable pool, the body of text, minus the length uh, replace lower pool. We want to put it to lower so that uh, it matches. It's just something I like to do. Uh, so if there's uppercase and lowercase, we want to uh, replace it accordingly. Um, so lower pool and lower uh, word and we're going to replace it with nothing. So we're basically going to be erasing that word from the pool of text. And then we're going to divide it by the length of lower word. So basically if you see the math that's going on here, we're saying Delete, uh, delete all the words and see uh, <clears throat> and compare it to the previous uh, pool here. So how it works is besides the fact this is basically how you make a function. You can return variables, you can uh, you can take in parameters, uh, uh, arguments, and um, you yes. So we can save it. You can see that it's saved. Now let's do something inside of table uh, table one. We're gonna add a new field real quick and just call it body and make it text. Didn't like that. Make it text and turn off this default. So um, uh, then we'll just save it and we'll go inside of the data and we'll add something to the body here. We'll we'll say. Um, this window is too big. We will say here is some text. We like to type text. Text is about the coolest thing we can do. Just kidding. I hate text. So we're going to be looking for text inside of, um, and we're going to count how many occurrences text showed up. We typed it four times, we know that. So inside of the query tab, we will just do a select. Uh, actually, um, yeah, we can, do, we can do a basic select. We say select, um, we're going to select what I call it, body. So we'll call word. We'll call our word count. 
Um, we're going to pass in body, which is the body uh, field inside of the table. And we're going to pass in the word, the string text into there from table one. So now when we run this, we'll see uh, this long convoluted thing. We can just say as word count. Or word counted, I guess. So we don't get these confused word count and word count. So now we can say word counted is four. It counted four occurrences in there. So that is how we created a function that we can use inside of our SQL syntax. And uh, that's basically it for how to create a function.